If your child's emotions flip like a switch and nothing seems to be working, it might be because of their vagus nerve. So what exactly is the vagus nerve? It's something that may be in your consciousness. You're really thinking differently about what are some of these root causes of what's going on with your kids. And you're certainly learning about a dysregulated nervous system. And a vagus nerve is part of our autonomic nervous system. And it's the longest cranial nerve in our body. So meaning that it goes from our brain to our are different parts of our organs. And it's a major part of that autonomic nervous system that I mentioned, which is what controls our stress response. And just as a refresher, right, we have our parasympathetic state, which is what they often call rest and digest. I call it our hot tub state. And then we have our sympathetic dominant state, which is really when we activate in stress. And our vagus nerve is very much a core player in our parasympathetic nervous system. It really is part of this, what we call a bi-directional superhighway between the brain and the organs. And we need it to be regulating. We're going to talk about ways to activate our parasympathetic nervous system and our vagus nerve naturally because they're really simple things that we can do that kids, parents, everybody can do. Um, but our vagus nerve in our parasympathetic nervous system tells us we're safe. And when we don't feel safe, when we're activated for whatever reason, you know, your kid's got, you know, a neurodivergence, um, uh, is, you know, stressed, is uh, struggling with sensory processing, is having a hard time on the bus. I mean, there's just so many reasons why kids activate today. When they're activated, they don't feel safe. And so instead, they that nervous system rises into this dysregulated state. And that's why we see a lot of behaviors in our kids. And again, the great news is you're here, you're listening, you're watching, you're learning. I have a lot more control than I've been told. <laughs> and I don't have to have medications. And there's lots of amazing things that we can do to make ourselves and our children more regulated, not just for today, or for all those future generations to come. I'm going to talk so much about this in my book. I can't wait to share this with you all. For those of you who are really excited, I'll be learning more about it. So our vagus nerve and our system is responsible, right, for regulating emotions, behavior, even social connection is a part of that. So what happens when we're dysregulated, right? We can be Understimulated or overstimulated. And when we're activated, that vagus nerve can't really support and do that bi-directional communication. It's gonna be, it's gonna be instead of sending calming signals, it's going to tell us we're in survival mode. Our brain will be stuck, fight, flies, freeze, or fawn, and we're gonna be in a shutdown state. And when you're in a shutdown state, your child can't access logical thinking. You know, you're not going to be able to talk to them in a rational way because they're just in a very primitive state of reactivity or shutdown. So here are some common signs that your vagus nerve needs support. So this is very much an overlap with just dysregulation in general, right? So those frequent meltdowns, lots of, you know, viperish kind of outbursts, you know, that seem to come out of nowhere, sensory overload or sensitivity, trouble falling or staying asleep is a real indicator that that vagus nerve is not in a relaxed state and supporting the brain and body. Um, stomach issues, constipation, picky eating, panic, uh, lots of worry, talk, fearfulness, avoidance. And then sort of just that up and down in behavior that you're like, what's going on with this kid, right? So just know that these behaviors, it's not about, you know, willfulness or you're going to discipline out. It's a biological response that we can alter through the vagus nerve. How cool is that? I love that, right? I hope you're as excited as I am when you start realizing, again, you have parent power. I mean, you don't have to rely on other people to do these things. You can learn those. And I'm glad you're, you know, all those tools you can learn right here. And I'm glad you are. So 
just know that a calm vagus nerve, right, is a calm brain and a regulated child. It's all part of the system, right? And if the vagus nerve isn't activated, so if it's not in a regulated state, those timeouts aren't going to work, logic, reasoning, um, and talking can backfire on you right? So the nervous system has to be calm for emotional control, um, behavioral control, that impulse control. A lot of these activated kids get misdiagnosed as ADHD because they're so impulsive when instead it's really coming from that nervous system being in that sympathetic dominant state. The communication's not going to be there and you're just not going to get cooperation, right? So regulate. So how can we support the vagus nerve naturally. There's lots of cool ways and there many of them are just easy. So number one, really quick, easy way to do things is actually to hum. Um, humming creates a vibration that resets the nervous system. And in fact, if you ever watch young kids who are very regulated, they often hum when they're playing independently, right? Especially when they're in deep play, you know, like my favorite toys, Legos and art and, you know, things that are really getting them thinking. I remember Max, like, oh, of course he loved Thomas the Train. And um, and we would buy him a new Thomas the Train every time we went to the doctor, which was like a lot, sometimes three times a week. Um, and just because it was tough, it was tough. He was little and he didn't know another way. And we just sort of did it, right? Um, luckily, somebody gave us a huge set of it, just so you know. And uh, I don't know how many pieces were in there, but we really got a lot out of that. Thanks. Mom's sharing is great. Um, but, you know, just remember him playing with his toys and he was a little guy and he would just be so deep in there. And sometimes you would hear him humming or singing. And um, and that is a way to reset and really activate your vagus nerve. Okay. Cold water on the face. Not my favorite, but also sometimes at the, the back of the neck too. Your facial nerves actually engage your parasympathetic uh, nervous system. So just you know, a little cold water to kind of reset yourself. You know, I think that's why a lot of us, like when you get home from work, you want to wash your face. You want to reset, right? Um, one of my favorite things to do to activate your parasympathetic nervous system is actually a hard hug. I have a whole thing about it, but you're going to put your um, right hand over your heart, right? And then you're going to take your left hand and push down on your right shoulder. This is called a hard hug. You want to have your feet on the ground. It's a stabilizer and a grounder. And I love this. It instantaneously puts you in a relaxed state. It's really wonderful. Um, there are also different movement things that you can do, particularly when you can do a figure eight um, with your hands. So if you can visualize, if you're listening, um, you're creating an eight with your hands is crossing the midline. That's a parasympathetic activator. I love that. Kids love that. Um, lots of midline activities activate the parasympathetic vagus nerve. Um, magnesium is a great way to activate your parasympathetic nervous system. Everyone always wants to ask me like, oh, does this still work the next day? Could it make you be more focused the next day? Every time you regulate your nervous system, it's going to improve your focus, period. Okay, so the more you do it, the more it's going to help your nervous system to stay in a parasympathetic state. Once you're in a parasympathetic state, everything works better. Your immune system, your focus, your neurotransmitters, your gut, everything works better. You just have to stay with it. And then my Calm PEMF is a great way to instantaneously put you in a parasympathetic state. Most people, about 90%, feel it immediately. I brought it with me to a retreat with adults last week and um, they were all having altitude sickness, but not me. Um, and I, of course, took homeopathy. We were at a high altitude destination, if you haven't figured that out. Um, I brought homeopathy, but I had my calm PMF. And so one of the girls was struggling and really was feeling pain. She has a lot of autoimmune issues. And she turned to me after 20 minutes and said, is this psychosomatic? that this is making everything feel better for my altitude plus the pain in my hands. And I was like, no, when you pull yourself into a parasympathetic state, 
is pretty amazing. If you are looking for more solutions to really guide you and what to do for your child who's really activated, you're going to go to drrosanne.com forward slash help. You're going to take this solution matcher. It's less than three minutes and it will guide you to my solutions personally designed by me that I know that have worked for thousands of people. Um, and it's just easy and it's a great way and you'll get more info from us. You'll get our newsletter and, and notifications about these episodes. Um, but you know, I really want you to really start thinking it's dysregulation, not defiance. So when you start thinking about the vagus nerve, you're, you're understanding that you're, the brain isn't misbehaving, right? Because if we say, oh, it's the brain, it's overwhelmed, right? And so the vagus nerve is the foundational piece to calming the nervous system. And in most times, you just don't need extreme interventions. A lot of these little things from the humming and singing to the hard hug and different types of movement activations – Yes, you can get calm PMF. Yes, everybody should be taking magnesium. And our magnesium is very different because it only has the magnesiums at the clinical dosages for the brain. And L3 and A is in there and it crosses the blood-brain barrier. I know you always have so many questions about magnesium. But I hope this gave you some inspiration, got you thinking about the vagus nerve. It's just another piece of really helping our kids be more regulated and empowering you to do that in your daily.